All right, greetings all. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some stuff that I don't believe is covered very well in this chapter, um, chapter 12, and it talks and, and it's about um, Asian Americans. Uh, one of the things that we we see happening to groups of people over and over again, uh, not just Asian Americans but also Muslims and and, and others, um, is the prejudice that happens after major events. During World War II, um, when uh, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, which essentially uh, is, uh, created the atmosphere in the United States where we had to enter World War II, for, for years, several years, we had stayed neutral uh, and tried to stay out of World War II. But when Pearl Harbor was bombed, we, the, the, not only the government, but the people, citizens of, of the United States, felt like we needed to jump into the war. And you saw many, many, many men in, in the country um, go to recruiting stations and begin to sign up en masse to fight the Japanese. What happened as a result of that is Japanese Americans who had been living here for 100 years, who came, you know, uh, in the mid 1800s and, and late 1800s for um, the gold rush and and as indentured slaves and and other things, uh, they were sent to internment camps during World War II. They were stripped of their land. Their they were stripped of their businesses. They lost essentially everything that they owned and sent to were sent to internment camps for the rest of the war. And uh, was this, which was essentially three to four years, or or perhaps more for some of them. But but what all that created is a backlash toward um, Pearl Harbor created a backlash toward Japanese Americans. And in in the same way that we see. Uh, the terrorist bombings uh, in Paris, the Paris attacks, the Boston bombing, the um, San Bernardino bombings. Every time we have an event, you see a backlash of American um, sentiment, mostly anger, uh, toward Muslim people. And and I mean, we could just go on and on and on and talk about this backlash effect. I think it's something to be um, aware of. I think that that we, as individuals, need to be aware when we are also uh, reacting to backlash uh, of events and, and things that happen in our lives, and 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 being aware of our own attitudes. And so, when we are aware of our own attitudes, we can fight and monitor our actions and uh, our prejudices toward other people. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say. In addition to that, I've got a video I want you to watch. So enjoy. Bye-bye.